Oh no, it's like a like a death in the family. To be honest with you, you know, to see you don't you don't see many more brutal knockouts than than that. So to see you you know your mate or your loved one knocked out in that um, in that manner must have been um, must have been very very hard. And I think the, the con you know the, the the what people were thinking were he should hang him up now. He's had his he's had he's been knocked out like that. He's had his day, forty five fights. You know what I mean. The way I'd lived my life, up and down ballooning and up and down in weight, wouldn't have done my body um, any good. And obviously people knew, they didn't know how bad I was mentally. Because the thing is with mental health, you know, I, you know, I never shielded it from me, my family and my loved ones. I didn't want to tell them how, how bad it actually was because I didn't want to worry them. And I'm certainly not going to go to my mates and go, hey lads, <laughs> I'm crying every day, I want to kill myself, you know, what do you think? Because you, you don't do it. So. Um, so, you know, I think, but they knew I was in a bad place, but they didn't know, bad place mentally, but they didn't know how bad it was. But I think everything considered, he's got beat like that, he's had 45 fights now, he's ballooned up and down all his career and his weight. Um, now was the time to, to, to hang him up, and it was, and it was right. And I, um, and I knew how to hang him up, but, you know, nobody, nobody wants to, nobody wants to retire. You think, what am I going to do now? You know, footballers have a club to look after as well, the PFA. Professional Footballers Association or something like that, where they can, they get looked after. Footballers get testimonials, don't they? Sometimes, you know, and stuff like that. Where in boxing, it's as if you know, yeah, you're making the money. All right, you've had your day. Yeah, who's the next prospect? And it's, it's a shame. It's always been like that boxing, and because of the, you know, the the sport it is, you know, with you know the you know what the the intent of what you got to do with your opponent and what you go through and you know and, and stuff like that. You know, and don't forget, boxers don't come from Cambridge or Oxford. You know, you come from council estates nine times out of ten. We don't know how to deal with money. We don't know how to deal with, you know, you know, with mental health because, you know, the promoter just moves on to the next prospect. Um, so I think, yeah, I do think more should uh, more should be done, you know, in order to, you know, to help boxers, yeah. And it's a shame because how many times you see boxers that have won the world titles, made the fortunes and then ended up with nothing. So they, you know, they, they, they do. We do need help because you know we're not we're not the brightest buttons in the box. <laughs> but yeah, I think I think, def, I think definitely that's a strong point. I mean, I've said to Campbell to be, on, on many occasions I said you know he was too young when I was going through my bad state to understand what was actually going on. But now he's got a little bit older. He's got to realise you know what the what the score is and what I went through. And I've just said to Campbell, say, listen, Campbell, you know. You know, anything on your mind, whether it's a relationship problem or, you know, problem at home or a problem, any sort of problem, I said, you've got to come to me, you know what I mean? Because don't, you know, just just use my mistakes to benefit you, you know, in the sense that, you know, just come and tell me, speak to it, get it off your chest. And I say that to everybody, to be honest with you, you know, you, you know we all have bad days, just, you know, even if you've not got man mental health. If you're having a bad day, get off and share it with someone. Do you know what I mean? And you're better for it. You know what I mean? And it's like I nearly wasn't here to enjoy the things that I'm loving, I'm loving today. You know, you know, spending time, you know, with my grandfather. Now seeing Campbell go professional, seeing him, you know, seeing my girls turn into the ladies that they're, 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 they're turning into. I nearly wasn't here to, to experience that. So I'll bang the drum every day and say, you know, if you ever got a bit of problem, Campbell, you've got ever got anything on your mind, come to me because for me sins whether it's something that I did in the ring right or something I did out of the ring wrong, I'll have the answer for you. But you've got to come and get it off your chest. And if you do that, you know, you'll be, you, you be able to put it behind you and move on. And so, you know, I think he's proud when he sees what I've gone through and where I am present day. I think he knows that anything goes wrong, he's got to come to me and I'm confident he will do.